to our room here at the hotel in Zermatt. That's the view. That's the Matterhorn. And this is our balcony. I can't believe this. I don't even understand. Hello, camera. That is still the Matterhorn. Yeah, night one here in Zermatt. I'm just chilling on the patio, getting a little bit of editing done. Uh, just dove into some photos from Norway, some photos from the first few hours here. Obviously cruising around, shooting photos of the friends at the hotel and whatnot, but I'm just so happy to be back in the mountains. First five days of the trip have been a lot harder than I thought they would be. I think once I realized that my bag is like gone, gone, uh, got a little freaked out. Don't have toiletries, don't have any of my own clothes, you know, that I'm comfortable in and comfortable with. Just been spending like half of every day trying to shop and get stuff. And um, my personality isn't really about like shopping and stuff. So being in those stores kind of overwhelms me and it's just not my vibe. So um, yeah, I'd much rather just, uh, you know, spend my time climbing mountains and exploring cities and um, yeah, just doing cool stuff. So it's been, it's been weird, but um, we're making it work. An older gentleman uh, that I just had an awesome conversation with, he's been coming here for 40 years. It was really cool hearing his stories of Zermatt. As you can imagine, someone that's been visiting for 40 years, uh, he also mentioned that it's his favorite mountain town in all of Europe. So um, that's pretty exciting. I'm really excited to do some exploring tomorrow. It's dark and I don't know how well this thing does in this low of light. I know it's great in low light, but this is pretty low light. Dustin and I, are stepping out. We're gonna go walk around town and see what uh, what's going on. It's pretty quiet. It's Monday night, but we're gonna go check it out. There's Ryan. Hey, that kid? <laughs> uh oh, someone got gelato. Ice cream date. Uh, kind of nervous. Four fifty. Spooky wooden Spooky. bridge. <laughs> Creepy wooden bridge. These things are sick, though. Yeah, they're also spooky. They are spooky. There is a lot of old architecture here in Zermatt, in case you couldn't tell. It's beautiful, very, uh, you know, cabiny mountain vibes, and uh, I don't know where the hell we are, Bones. Yeah, I don't either. I think we've kind of wandered around enough so we're, we're getting kind of lost, but I don't know, I feel like we have a general idea of where we're going. Yeah, we got this, we'll crush it. We're just exploring. We're just checking out the town, finding new roads. That sounded like a Toyota commercial or something. <laughs> Toyota, finding new roads. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is insane. We're in Zermatt. It got kind of cloudy. That's uh, that's the Matterhorn, and wait, that's the Matterhorn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she's looking a little, she's looking a little terrifying. But what the hell, dude? 
started raining super bad. We decided to get some snacks. Got a coffee, got a carrot cake. Got a little salami sandwich, some chips. Gonna pass up the cobbler. And uh, yeah, we're gonna feast until this rain passes through. Okay, just wrapped up coffee. Let the rain pass, had some snacks, and uh, it's back to being beautiful out. Trying to go down to that lake? That one? Yeah. I'm down. Thanks, Dustin. Come on in. Is the water warm? No, it's not. <laughs> Should we get in? No. Uh, yeah, if you couldn't tell, the Matterhorn is kind of the centerpiece for everything in Zermatt. We're just on a little hike right now, and uh, yeah, the views somehow keep getting better and better. That's just, that's just what happens in the mountains, though. I need to remember that. did the longest lens change of my life, but Bones and I stopped for a bit to take some photos because uh, the view is too epic and the lighting was too perfect. So uh, I'm gonna toss some photos in right now. So Bones and I are about to try to go across this rope bridge. Uh, is rope bridge, is that what you would call it? I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's made for a little kid and maybe one adult, but two grown boas are about to go across it and hope it doesn't sink, but we'll record it just in case it does sink. <laughs> what do you think? Are we gonna make it? We're about to sink the ship. Are we, are we getting on? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You gotta get the, the front position. If we sink this thing, Dustin. All right, I got a camera right here. I got my backpack on and uh, whoa. You better hold on to something. I gotta help, dude. Bro, we're like, oh, we're sinking the ship. Did we sink this thing? Oh, we're making it. We're making it. We're making it. We're making, and we're making great time. Oh, oh, it's so tippy. About the crush into this rock. That was freaky deaky. Can I hand you this? Yeah. So drunk. Was I not recording that? Oh, it's still recording. Yeah, All right, it. we made it. Oh. Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> <laughs>